Okay, J. Aaron Tibia here with Mauricio Suleiman. Mauricio, how's it going? Doing great. I'm very excited. It's a big weekend for boxing here in Las Vegas. Uh, we just had a little ceremony. WBC awarded uh, two military veterans a, um, a, I guess, a special special belt for their service. Can you speak on that a little bit? Yes, uh, there's so many people willing to give their lives for anyone, for us. Right. Uh, they are the backstage heroes. They go into a ring without referee, without rules, and they are willing to give their lives for for humanity. And we are very happy that uh, PBC and the WBC were able to acknowledge them. We invited them to the fight. And we gave them a miniature belt as a recognition. And uh, they do a lot of work in the society with uh, underprivileged kids and also uh, adaptive sports. So I'm very proud of uh, the so many uh, veterans that are out there that are willing to, to continue to do their job to make this country better. You mentioned something about, um, I forget the gentleman's name, but that he, he took DeMarcus Corley in, into his house? Yes, or? yes. He, He's housing DeMarcus Corley in Las Vegas. DeMarcus moved here and he's working. So uh, it's such an honorable, Mr. Donovan, what he has done. He has opened his home to a former champion and helps him. They help each other. Right. They motivate each, each other and it's just sensational. Okay, so there's a, a ton of confusion, mostly online, Twitter, comment sections, and it's all regarding the, the WBC franchise belt situation. Um, I, I just want to ask you a few questions, see if maybe we can clear some of that up. Sure. Uh, and I guess I guess the first question I'll ask you, it, it came out in a recent interview to where I guess Lomachenko said that he didn't ask for the, the WBC franchise uh, belt, and I think in, in an interview prior you mentioned that he did. So what what is the truth behind behind that? No, there's no lie or truth. It's a fact. Uh, his promotion company, Top Rank, contacted the WBC and requested uh, the WBC board to consider designating him a champion, uh, uh, the designation of the franchise champion. And we did do the voting, we did do the presentation in Cancun, Lomachenko signed it. Showed, so I don't, it just, it just, uh, I don't know, I don't understand the so much fuss about the franchise. Right. If it was not important, nobody would talk about it. So it is important. Uh, everybody uh, has their own right for their opinion. But I am very confident that eventually it will prove to be a great step for the betterment of the boxing, of the sport. What the franchise designation does, it allows uh, a few fighters of specific characteristics to grow the industry of the sport, to be able to go out and fight in different weight categories, to fight different champions, to fight the, champ the fights that the public wants to see. So I'm very confident. I understand and I take all the critics. I accept them, but we'll see. Time will tell. Do you, do you have any idea why uh, Loma would, I mean, I, I don't want to say lie. I'll stop short of saying lie, but why he would say something that's not true. And then, and actually he did show up to Cancun. He accepted the belt. If he asked for it, why then turn around and well, say, do you it was, think there was some It's backlash? not a belt. It's not a belt. It's the franchise designation is not a championship or a new title. It's just a designation where that WBC champion receives a list of benefits and a list of uh, obligations. Right. So Lomachenko knew about it. I don't know why it's it, the interview. It's in, in Ukrainian, so I don't know what he says. But maybe there was a confusion inside his team or in the wording or, or maybe it's what you're asked by the media. So I don't know, I just, I just uh, think it's uh, secondary. The fact is that he understands it and he knows it and he's very appreciative, but I don't know what interview is all about. So there isn't, so it, it's not a belt in itself and it can't be transferred, right? So if Loma, right. if Loma were to fight the winner of Tiafimo Lopez and Richard Come, that it's, that's not for the undisputed, uh, that's not for undisputed then, correct? It is, it is, he is the WBC champion. It's a technicality that is going to take time to understand, to give it, to shape it. 
Right. Uh, there's a lot of fuss about, oh, then there's no undisputed. Well, I take as much more important the ability to have the highest fighter be able to compete against uh, other champions in other weight categories against the fact of the impossibility of being undisputed. Right. I don't know if I'm making sense. There have been in the history of the sport very few undisputed champions. And why? Because the mandatory is getting in the way and they get stripped. So this is a solution for that side of the rules which serve very well in general but they do a disservice to the sport in the very few cases uh, we are the ones who invented the mandatory uh, designation the mandatory challenger the WBC invented that because Sonny Liston because so many fighters waited five six years to fight for the title uh, but there are certain fighters that make an era. Canelo is one, Lomachenko is another. They make the era of today and they want to fight the best fights possible and continuously be uh, fighting so we'll see. Well, I, I, just two more questions about this because it is, like I said, it's very confusing. It's interesting though too. If, if Haney were to fight the winner of Lopez and Comey, would that also be for Undisputed or would, how, how does that work out? Well, Haney is a lightweight champion. And uh, that's what you you are digging into the areas where you can have a bit confusion, it which is good. But what I'm saying is Haney uh, is a young fighter who is making his way very strongly. Right. So if you wanna confuse it, there's a confusion. Yes, there is confusion, but it's a positive confusion. Right. Let's see Haney fight that fighter. Or let's see Lomachenko fight it. It's two great fights. That's why we want the best fights. Don't get wrapped up into the undisputed or not undisputed. This is the possibility. Without the fight, there's no discussion. Right. Let's see the fights happen. And then you call it whatever you want to call it. We want the fights. We want the fighters to be fighting the fights that people want. So, and the last question on this, and I'll let you go. I'll let you get back to your day. Uh, Wilder, when asked about uh, the possibility of the WPC franchise tag being placed on him, I don't know if he would change his mind, but at this point he said that, that he would probably pass on that because he likes the ideas of fighting mandatories. We don't ask fighters. Oh, well, so We do not ask fighters to become franchise. Well, either way, based on what, on what you said, would it make sense for a heavyweight to even request to be uh, uh, a franchise champion. One, one of the main elements of the franchise is the possibility to move in weight, to move correct up and down. So I don't think uh, that would that would be uh, a a situation. Of course, if he requests it, the WBC would vote it. But uh, it's one of the main elements, the ability to move up and down. And again, he has his opinion. He's welcome to have his opinion. It's unnecessary to have a, a WBC champion in contradiction with something that he's not familiar with, but uh, I respect him and I love Deontay. He makes us proud and he's so active. He's fighting Ortiz and he's, if he wins, he's fighting Fury. He's got, so the, the franchise does not really apply because he's doing the fights that people want to see. Any chance on Saturday night you see the WBC belt exchanging hands? Or you think Deontay holds Absolutely. on? Absolutely. There's any time you have a good heavyweight in the ring, there's a possibility of anything happening. Ortiz can punch, Wilder can punch, and they really want it. So it's going to be a great fight. Mauricio, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you very I, I much. I hope I didn't beat you up too much. No, no, no. I'm here to take the punches. Okay. Thanks. As long as there are no low blows, because no, those no are... low blows. No low blows. <laughs> thanks a lot. Man. Thank you, Thank you sir.